Freak, did you know that you can now tether your Oculus Quest? Why, by using a cable like this. No, 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 no. Not to your phone. No, tether it to your PC. Now you have it tethered to your PC, you can be fat and lazy like us. Grab yourself a burger and a lager. Just to be sure, before you know it, your wife will be filing for divorce. Good luck, VR addict. Alright, 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 calm down, calm down. <laughs> Some people would get that joke. Um, yeah, the Oculus Quest, right? So you connect it, uh, what you need is you need the beta software on your uh, Oculus software. So you need to download the Oculus software if you haven't got it already um, from their website onto your PC and then go onto the test servers, the beta servers or the beta servers, depending on how you say it, beta, beta, tomato, tomato, right? You know, so you need to have the latest update on your Quest as well, all right? All right, all right, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Isn't that much of a hard work? Um, fairly quickly, but then you need a supported, well, not such a supported cable, but a cable that actually works. Now, this is one of my issues right now. So I have actually gone through nearly every single cable in the house. I've got lots of Type C's uh, cables in the house. You, I've got Type C to Type C. I've got USB to Type C. Um, cables in the house and you know even got the index ones you know like the uh, I think they're about two meters uh, index uh, controller charger ones they don't work right obviously the one with your quest that you get which is about three meters as well does not work um, I tried some of my phone charging ones and they didn't work neither I actually bought one and that didn't work neither but eventually I found one and it's only uh, a meter long. So I have tried, <laughs> I have tried playing the index and, um, no, sorry, the quest. I have tried playing the quest um, on the PC, but as you can see, I'm very limited to um, how I can play. Um, lucky enough, the front ports on my PC would accept this. So the USB free ports on my front of my PC were fantastic. Um, so it means it didn't have to go. If it went around the back of the PC, I'd be literally just like at the back of my PC playing. Um, but lucky enough, I did have the use of the whole uh, meter, but it meant I had to literally set right in front of my PC using uh used to just sitting down uh using the quest but it did work um but first things i noticed with this cable and i don't know if it's this cable because everyone's saying it looks great it's fantastic and it works perfectly fine most of this is true for me uh when i was in this it, it worked um flawlessly with the tracking and etc but um it, the colors didn't seem to pop as much as the Rift S or the Index or even the Pimax, you know, like, uh, you know, those colors pop, like even the Cosmos pops more. The colors are just so much more vibrant. It just looked a bit dull and a little bit uh, terrible in that respect. Also, there was a little bit of like blur, like almost a Vaseline effect as uh, we've come to know it. Um, so it didn't look as sharp as the Rift S and nowhere near as sharp as what the Index you would expect from the Index. Um, but it was pretty damn good. Obviously the black levels were pretty good, but I'm just wondering if it's got anything to do with the cable as well. I have ordered another cable. It's coming tomorrow. I've ordered the anchor one that everybody suggests using. Well, actually I couldn't get the one they suggested 
Um, so I've got the power plus one, so it's plus. You know, th there's the the anchor power line is the the one you're looking for, and um, they only had that in six foot, which was just two meters. And considering this is a meter, I I think two meters is not going to really. <laughs> What was I talking about? Yeah, so that's only, there was only a two meter one there. So I got the uh, power, uh, anchor power line plus one, which was three meters. The one that I actually bought that came today was uh, 4.5 meters, which is perfect. 4.5 meters is just what, 0.5 less than the usual five meters that we're accustomed to most of the time. Uh, it didn't work. I was absolutely shocked it didn't work because this is a very expensive cable and it's, it's you know, it's, it's top notch. It's, but yeah, so at the moment all I can use is this little little cable and from my experience of it, it the tracking's fine, everything works fine. If you want to use the PC, it's 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 it seems pretty fine. It's just um, not as vibrant and that might have something to do with the cable, so it might become vibrant if you've got a better cable. So uh, that's my first introduction to this. Um, so calm down, calm down. <laughs> and then we'll uh We'll uh, try to test it out, hopefully, and um, and uh, we'll, we'll report back. Uh, here we are in Stormlands. Now, the colors are not as vibrant as the Rift S or the Index or the Parmax, like I said. It's not as sharp, neither. But it's not bad. I mean, check this out. It's working, working pretty damn good, right? I can't really move, and I haven't got my camera on because you've seen the cable. No way in the world I could have my camera on at the same time. So, you know, it is what it is. So I need to get to my next location now and actually Jasper, those spinner buoys should give you a speed boost if you get close to them. Got it. Pass through several in a row to reach even higher speeds. Oh, several in a row. Yeah, it seems like it works fine. I don't see. Grab my gun. Look at my thingy. Bring up objectives. Uh, I can move my head a little bit, but I'll pull the cable out if I move it too much. It seems uh, okay. Oh, what's this? Is this one? This is something. Okay. Storm Land is an absolutely ace game as well, it really is. That appears to be Ooh, a there was a bit of jet there, I don't know if upgrade. that was... That could be useful. You should equip the upgrade. I believe it could lead to great possibilities. The support link upgrade allows you to connect to other androids in the far-reaching strata of the Stormland. Okay. MP menu. Alright, so this is how you get to multiplayer. Okay. That's fantastic. So it don't take too long to get to multiplayer then. Cool, I'll take that. Yeah, I think it works fine, yeah. I think if you haven't got anything else and you just want to connect this up, I think this is alright. It's actually pretty impressive, if I'm going to be honest. Can't wait to get a proper lead though. A uh, big enough lead, should I say. Why can't I get up on this? I can't stop playing this now. Six, 86 rounds. Oh, that's cool. You didn't. I killed every single last one of them. Get back at base camp. Uh, there's something important I need to tell you. Uh, and Vesper can't be that important. I don't know what. Where are you going? I don't know how you're alive. This guy reminds me of my it's wife. It's just good to see you again. Oh, it's something really important to tell you. And then walks off, goes to work, comes back. Two days later. Oh yeah, that important thing I needed to tell you. May I ask a favor? So, here am I in Asgard's raft and everything looks uh, hunky-dory right now. There's my uh, 
this Gil, Gel, whatever you call him. Give me a thumbs up just there. I think it works fine, it looks like, yeah. Sword works fine. Looks fantastic as well, the sword in my hand. And my axe. My God of War type axe. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, that's my axe. You can't have that. I don't think he hit me there, like. mode is already here look uh, okay so we're in Galactic Rangers and uh, on Steam again and I seem to be perfectly fine looks fine can't wait until I bring out the other episodes for this so it looks really nice. There's defiance mode now though as well. On this game. It's a very good game. Look great, these guns look amazing actually. It doesn't look too blurry. I don't really notice much of a difference here. It's actually quite hard. It's not running that smooth for some reason as well. It could be just my uh, computer at the moment. It's uh, acting up a bit lately.
Let's go. Thought this guy was good. Oh, I didn't see that coming. The projectiles are so much quicker than normal. Oh my god, what was that? Oh no, what have I got the blaster? Connection. God damn it. Oh, I don't know how I made it through that. Whooping! This is such a cool game, though. There we have it, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, the Oculus Link cable works quite flawlessly. Actually, it's pretty damn good. I just noticed that the Rift S and the Index and other headsets that are PC made are a tad bit sharper. Obviously, the CV1 and or the uh, original Vive and uh, stuff like that but uh, yeah similar to uh, like some people say it's similar to the Vive Pro or the um, Samsung Odyssey in that respects but it, it kind of feels like when you're in there they don't they haven't bumped up the resolution like they do with those headsets sometimes you know there's like a scaling going on isn't there because it looks a little bit blurry and it, it didn't look as, as uh, colorful but the blacks were just amazing so yeah yeah if you've got an Oculus Quest <laughs> you're sorted really because you can just like go out and uh, and uh, exercise as the intro says kind of like the intro is just a joke by the way don't take that seriously that intro that that intro is a joke obviously people with um, the quest I didn't buy one just to exercise they just wanted the mobile freedom to be able to play where they want when they want and at 360 without a cable tethered to it and then ironically they're all hyped about tethering it to a PC um, <laughs> so then you've got the best of both worlds really there and then you can play a lot of PC games so like you know if you wanted to play Boneworks when it comes out on the 20th of December or um, you know you want to play Stormlands or Asgard of Wrath you know all those great games that are on the PC it seems like the uh, the world's open. Eh, 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 come on. <laughs> the world is open to you, eh? <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'm wearing this wig all the way through, I'm gonna uh, pretty much 
So uh, yeah, Oculus Quest Link. Brilliant, you just need the right cable though, really. Not like a one meter cable like I always try to use, you know, half the time. I did I, I did find an extension cable there to make it a little bit bigger, so it was a bit better than I thought. But um, yeah, tomorrow I'll be getting a three meter one, which will be a little bit better. Obviously, you would want a five meter one or something like that. So kind of have a look around, see what you can do. See, you know, someone's gonna recommend. I know people are already recommending the Anchor Powerlink one. Um, so you can look out for that one, but I think that only goes up to about three meters. I don't know if there's a five meter one or something, and I don't know if five meters would even work because obviously the longer you go, the more the latency, maybe more the resistance uh, problems you're gonna have. Um, so we need to test longer leads. I mean, I was getting pretty perfect with my lead and with a little one meter extension lead as well. So I was getting about two meters, but I could still, two meters is ridiculous. I think three meters is not gonna be great neither for a lot of people. Not for me, if I have to get behind a screen screen, my PC is kind of like a good two meters away as it is. So if I was like doing this and playing the Oculus Quest, I, I would have been like, oh, you would have seen me doing it like this. <laughs> So I had to stand quite close to the PC and uh, I actually, when I was doing Beat Saber, I, I smacked my hand on the table and it really hurt. So you, you probably won't see that, I'll cut that out, but um, yeah. So make sure you get a good lead. Uh, that's the only negative, you just need a good lead. I think, um, because uh, there's a lot of positives with this uh, Oculus Link cable. So yeah, thumbs up from me. So yeah, if you like this video, please give me a like and also subscribe because it goes straight to the heart. Hit the bell button so you get notified when I'm actually going to bring up more videos to do with VR, obviously. And uh, yeah, I love you long time. Catch you next time.